In this video tutorial, I will go through step by step on how to set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2016. Remember, you need to have administrator privilege on the server to install and configure Active Directory. So first of all, you have to log in to your Windows Server 2016 computer, then uh, click on Start button, then click on Server Manager, and that will open Server Manager console. On Server Manager console, let's click on Local Server. As you can see, I assign a computer name WS2016 to this computer, and I have assigned a static IP address to this computer as well, and the IP address is 192.168.16.3. Now. We are ready to install Active Directory to me service rule on this computer. For that, I'm going to click on Dashboard and click on Add Rules and Features. On Before You Begin page, click on Next. Select Role Base or Feature Base Installation and then click on Next. On this screen, we have to select the destination server on which you are going to install Rule or Feature. In our case, we are going to install Active Directory Domain Service Rule on a local server. And that's why we are going to select local server WS2016. Let's click on next. Now on this screen, we have to select the server rule which we are planning to install. In our case, that is Active Directory Domain Services. Select the checkbox. Click on add feature that are required for Active Directory Domain Service. And that will also include management tools for managing Active Directory Domain Service. Let's click on Add Features. Let's click on Next. Here you can see the Group Policy Management feature is selected by default because that is required by Active Directory Domain Services. Let's click on Next. Next again. And click on Install to start the instruction process. Once the Active Directory Domain Services role has been installed, click on promote this server to a domain controller and the deployment configuration wizard will come up. Select add a new forest because we are going to create a new active directory forest. If you have an existing domain and you want to add this domain controller to an existing domain, that time you have to select the first box. If you have an existing forest, and you want to deploy new domain inside the existing forest, that time you have to select the second box. But we are going for a new forest deployment, that's why I'm going to select the third one. And now we have to specify the name of our root domain. In my case, that is mylab.local. Let's click on next. On the next screen, we have to select functional level of new forest and a root domain. Now we are deploying the new forest, that's why our forest and domain functional level set to highest level. And that is Windows Server Technical Preview in Windows Server 2016 Evolution Edition. Remember, there is no Windows Server 2016 currently available in Windows Server 2016 Data Center Evolution Edition. I am going with Windows Server Technical Preview. Now. This server is the first domain controller in our new forest and that's why and it requires DNS server. That's why the domain name system server box is selected and the first domain controller will be configured as a global catalog server. And that's why second box is also selected. Now we have to specify the password for directory service restore mode administrator account. Let's specify the password and then click on next. Because we are installing a forest root domain controller that is using Active Directory integrated DNS, we are not going to worry about this warning message. Just click on next on the screen. Choose the nearby domain name that is already selected based on your root domain name. Let's click on next on the screen. On the screen, you have to select the location for Active Directory database, Active Directory log files, and sysvol folder and the by default location for database and log files are C Windows NTDS folder and for sysvol that is C Windows sysvol folder. We are going with the default and that's why I'm going to click on next button. You can review the options which you have selected. Once you review all the options then click on next. 
on a prerequisites check. If all the prerequisites check successfully, then you can start the installation process. So let's click on install to start the installation. The installation should begin. The server will reboot automatically when the installation finishes. And after that, your Windows Server 2016 computer will be promoted as a domain controller. This message will pop up on your screen when Windows Server 2016 is about to reboot. After your server reboots, you will have the options to log into your newly created domain. Let's use controller to delete and specify the password for our administrator. So once you log into your Windows Server 2016 with your domain credential on Server Manager Console, click on Tools. Select Act Directory Users and Computers. Expand your domain name and that is mylab.local in my case. Expand domain controllers and here we can see this is the our domain controllers computer account and that is WS2016. Now this server is successfully promoted as a domain controller for a new Windows Server 2016 forest. Now let's open DNS management console as well. Let's click on tools, select DNS. On DNS management console, expand your DNS server name that is WS2016. Expand for lookup zone. Here we have a total two active directory integrated primary DNS zone. First one is underscore mscs.mylab.local and the second one is mylab.local. Let's create one reverse lookup zone for our DNS server. Right click on reverse lookup zone and select new zone. Click on next. Select primary as well as act to directory integrated zone type. Click on next. Select the replication scope to all DNS servers running on domain controllers in this domain and that is mylab.local. Let's click on next. We want to create IP version 4 reverse lookup zone. That's why I'm going to select the first one. Click on next. Now here we have to specify the first three octet of your IP address. In my case, that is 192.168.16. Click on next. Now we want to enable secure dynamic updates only and that's why I'm going to select the first one. That is recommended for Active Directory. Click on next and click on finish to complete the new zone creation wizard. Now here we have a one reverse option as well. Now let's add a pointer record for our domain controller. Right click on free space and select new pointer. Click on browse. Double click on WS 2016. Double click on for lookup zone. Double click on my laptop local and select WS 2016. You can also manually specify the host address and the host name as well to create a new pointer record. Let's click on OK. Right click on WS 2016 and select launch and look. Now the IP version 6 is enabled on this server. That's why the IP address is displaying here over here is IP version 6. But let's specify the name of our domain mylab.local and you will receive the answer and that is 18168.16.3. Let's specify the name ws2016.mylab.local. This is the name of our domain control. Press enter. Now here we can see this IP address is 18168.16.3 because we have only one domain controller responding for mylab.local domain. Let's specify the IP address as well 18168.16.3 and we will receive the same answer. The host name associated with this IP address is ws2016.mylab.local. So finally, we can say we have working up and running Active Directory Domain Service with DNS service as well. So that concludes the video demonstration on how to set up Active Directory on Windows Server 2016 computer. Thank you for watching this video.